Check out thechosenprime.com in the link in the description below for this and other great items. Alright everyone, welcome to another Radio Free Cybertron Reviews, RFC Reviews. I'm your host, Diecast, and today we have the Zeta, Zeta Toys Fly Fire, which is their dot Firefly. And let's go ahead and take a quick look at the packaging on the front here. You have a nice piece of artwork of Fly Fire. It's so hard to say. Uh, and it's ZB-01 for Zeta something I don't know um, yeah I'm not sure but there's Kronos which third-party companies please stop using Kronos it's a tainted name don't use it it's it's very bad it's like it's like you might as well call it the Hindenburg just not something you really want to name your toys after on the side you have a nice picture of the jet up top here you just get Zeta and on the side here, you get a picture of Fly Fire in his robot mode. On the bottom, you have warnings and maybe like a number, a number of something. Uh, on the back, you get a nice picture of Superion and all the boxes stacked up together will form you a nice picture. So you can throw the boxes out or display the boxes. I don't know if anyone actually displays the boxes, but you can do that. Uh, inside, you do get this nice, uh, this nice foam insert that the figure comes in, and then you also get his gun, which has some uh, blue paint for accents, which is nice. And then you also get the missiles. Come on, come on. But there you have the missiles. Again, they're all just black plastic, and then they clip onto this gray piece right there. But they're done fairly well. Again, when you get this styrofoam, I, I start to think like, oh, this is going to be a premium figure. This is going to be a premium figure. Uh, and, and for the price, it, it doesn't seem like it's going to be bad at all. But uh, let's go ahead and just get a size comparison here. Here he is with MP10, just to give you a size on those guys. And uh, yeah, I think I think that works pretty well. Uh, you know, certainly, certainly acceptable for if you're looking for your masterpiece Superions or Superion or Aerial Bots. Let's go ahead and take a quick look. At fly fire here you can see his head is on a ball joint you can get a little bit of a little bit of rotation on that up about that much down about that much uh, this piece does tend to pop out quite easy uh, which is where his head sits uh, you do get a kind of swing double joint on the elbow it's all friction uh, I think there's the right amount of tension on it he can do a full 360 very fast just just swinging away uh, the elbow is double jointed but just because of the sculpt of it you really can't get anything more then 90 degrees, uh, so it's kind of a waste of a double joint, uh, but you know, it's there, it's there. You get a waist swivel, which does work very well. You get these hip skirts that move out of the way a little bit if you need to. Uh, this one is a little bit loose, this one is, eh, that one's loose too, uh, but they're hip skirts, so that doesn't bother me too much. For whatever reason, you can't go backwards with this leg. Uh, it won't allow you right here. I don't know why that is. Uh, you can go out all the way and it is on a soft ratchet, but as you can see, it doesn't really hold it up at all. So um, forward is just on friction and that does hold, but not, not the tightest. But not, uh, 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 no, never mind. Um, the wings can come off if you don't want them on the side. 
I personally think, you know, just leave them on the side. That's what I would do. You do get a double jointed knee, or not a double jointed knee, you get a single jointed knee, I'm sorry, but you do get 90 degrees of bend, and it is a nice ratchet on the knee. Uh, and then the foot, you do get a little bit of a tilt on the toe. The heel is just a bit, you know, one of the parts of the jet. You don't really get um, a heel, a heel rotation. But you do have some nice paint on the figure. Uh, there's not a lot of it, but it's done well. I think where where it is, um, yeah. Um, that's really all I can say. You have this backpack going on, of course, uh, that's typical aerial bots, but I want to be, I, this is the second time recording this video, because the first time, either there was an error with the memory card, I never had the memory card in begin with, or I'm just crazy, or a combination of all three, um, because... I went to edit the video and it was not on the memory card, so I'm not really sure what happened. But let's just go ahead and get right into, well, let's, one of the articulation features I forgot is the hand. You can do a full rotation. These fingers are all individually articulated um, and they're not pinned. So they do fall off and pop off very easy, and I don't know if you can see in there, but it doesn't even look like they're holding on very well. Uh, and I've barely touched this, and as you can see, and I hope I can find it, uh, the thumb did just pop off on me. Yeah, there it is. It went underneath the gun. So that pops off very, very very easily um, and then of course he can hold his gun there's just a slot in the gun that you're supposed to tab onto his hand and once you get that in he can hold his gun and these fingers are very tight and chances are, if you lose a finger, or if a finger pops off, good luck finding it, because they are just so tiny. And because I don't want to lose anything, I'm just going to tuck the thumb back down here and make the fist for transformation. Uh, but you can see, if you, you can see those, those fingers are all sorts of almost popping out on their own without even transforming it. So their hands could be a lot, lot better. Uh, one of the other things I noticed is that on this figure, well, let's get, go ahead and just get this cleaned up for for transformation. First thing you want to do is open up the, the panels here, flip the hand in, and then just collapse the arm. Do the same thing on the other side. Open this panel. And again, you have to flip this panel kind of all the way out just to get that hand in there. And then collapse this all up. Just like that. And close that panel up. And now you want to lift this chest piece up. You can pull the head up and out of the way if you want. And then these two panels on the top, you can pull these arms out just a little bit to get them out of the way, but you have to just push these through, which there is clearance issues uh, with this. And they really need to make this chest since they like their double hinges, come out on a double hinge to kind of give it room to bend these plastic pieces around. But there you go. And I'm getting to the problem on this guy, at least with my copy. Again, the arms collapse in. And then these panels can clip in to the arms right there. 
and then you just gotta push them in and again there is some clearance issues with that but it's not terrible these panels are supposed to fit just like that over there uh, but you can see this panel is warped and bent so this panel is fine it lays flush so from that panel being warped and bent whether it wasn't drilled properly through the hole uh, which kind of looks like that might be what's going on by the way the the pin sitting it looks like the hole wasn't drilled straight um, this chest will not tab in it, it'll tab in but then it just pops out due to that piece so my jet will always have his chest plate hanging down uh, we can go ahead and put the head back on rotate that around and then we'll bring this front part of the jet up and another thing I notice is that the top of the jet keeps wanting to come undone the reason is this black piece right here the nose cone of the jet that's what holds everything together and there's no glue there's no screws there's nothing it's just held together by that one front piece of the jet so everything does kind of want to come apart I can't believe they didn't use any glue or any screws or anything um, on this piece so let's go ahead and snap the front of the jet down then you just pop these and again if anything popped apart you kind of have to bring the camera down a little bit if anything popped apart you're just gonna have to try and squeeze it together to get it to tab in and of course right now it doesn't want to do it And it is because that piece is coming apart. So you kind of got to squeeze it right here. There we go. And that could have been avoided by some glue or screws. Preferably screws. I think they hold up better than glue. But And then the cockpit does open and you do have a little seat in there, which looks good. Um, my problem with this is not how it looks. My problem is the fit and the finish and the QC issues and it should have been a lot better. Um, now that we got the top half of the jet done, we can come down to the legs and it's not, you know, this is certainly not a very difficult transformation either by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, you just want to flip the feet in right there. And do the same thing on this side. Flip the foot in. Just get that squared up. Just like that. And then Combiner Wars the legs down. And they will... You will hear that little click. It'll click into place. And then do the same thing on this side. Get these panels pegged together and then you can extend these pieces right here which will fill in the side of the jet and then before you close all this stuff up bring this back panel back and that will tab in right there and then we'll bring these panels up and around and they will tab in to this piece right here and also on the front here so you will have to just bend the plastic to make room for all that uh, the plastic is 
a very, it, it feels like a thinner plastic. Um, so there is a little bit more bend in this plastic than you're probably used to from some other third party companies. But just tab that in right there. And then you can push this tail fin forward and extend these two down. And we'll just make sure everything tabbed in together. And then all you have to do is come up to the wings and you bring them up on that hinge. Extend the end of the wing. Same thing on this side, just collapse that up. Make sure everything tabs in where it should. And extend that wing out. And there you have him in his jet mode, which looks very good. I, I must say, uh, if this would actually stay closed like it was supposed to, uh, it would look even better. Uh, you do have landing gear on this that you can flip out. There's one on each wing. And then one on the front of the jet. And they do roll, so you can have him taxi down a runway pretty well. And of course, if you want to, you can peg these missiles on wherever you like. Just like that. And just like that. And there you have him with his missiles all lined up. And again, I think it is a really nice jet. Uh, really nice looking jet. The plastic quality just needs to be a little bit better. Um, also, the QC needs to be a lot better. I have my problem with the chest that should have never got past QC. I've also seen someone on YouTube who I, I wanted to look to make sure I was transforming the chest correctly. And someone got one of these and it didn't have these front uh, air vents on the front of it. They were just completely missing. So QC is definitely an issue with this guy. Um, and unfortunately, maybe I would have liked him better if things were glued properly and there was better QC on it. Um, it's not really a bad looking jet. It's not really a bad looking robot mode. Uh, but with all the QC issues and with how thin the plastic feels, uh, I cannot, even at $60 a figure, I cannot recommend this figure. Um, just to give it some scale, here he is with an MP car, Mr. Sideswipe or Lambor, however you want to say. And I do think that is a pretty decent size uh, for the for the jet. And I don't know if you can peg this in anywhere. It can kind of, if you want, peg on to the wing. And there are two on the side too, so you could kind of peg it in like that so it's not sticking out if you want to. Um, Alright, don't know where I'm going to stitch this into video, but I did forget one thing. Uh, he is a combiner, so we have to get him into combined form. So what we're going to do is we're going to act like we're going back to robot mode. And then we're going to pop these panels on the sides down just like that pop this panel down just like that and then we're gonna bring this piece back rotate the vents up and peg that back onto his back just like we were for Robato Mr. Robato and then pull this fin back. And we'll just split the legs just for now. Just to be able to 
angle this up and in. And then close that up. And there you have his backpack pretty much ready for robot or arm mode. And then these wings will just unpeg all the... Ah, oh, look. Look! Another place where they didn't use glue. Apparently nothing on this figure was glued. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's nice. Just snap that back together. Again, uh, cheap figures, the glue budget was just going to put them over the top on this one. So, pop those off. I'll get these wings. You can actually, let's just pop them off for now because you can put them wherever you want when you're ready. Uh, and then all you want to do now is you will extend this down and this is the combiner port and then you peg this all back in peg this back down which won't stay pegged down because of the problems uh, then we'll flip this port Actually, it is staying pegged in, which is kind of amazing. Um, we we'll get in here, flip that combiner port around, and then the head, I believe, is just going to tuck inside right inside there. Get that all closed up. Get that pegged back in. And there you have arm mode. The fist would go in right in there. Uh, and then you do have this joint. Which is nice. I, I will say that it, that is pretty nice. Just got to make sure it folds the right way when you're bending it. Just like that. But yeah, there is the arm mode. Uh, again, this would have been knocked out of the park if the plastic would have been a little bit better. If they actually used glue or screws on the figure instead of whatever happened with this uh, and just if the QC was a little bit better they could be a top tier uh, and I know this is the people that did Toy World it seems like the same problems that were plaguing Toy World is also plaguing Zeta so I mean it's it's something if Zeta is on their own and not not related to Toy World anymore. They need to address these problems as soon as they can. Um, and that'll just keep everything from from going haywire. Uh, keeping the customers happy. Because like I said, if this didn't have a couple QC issues, it would be awesome. So, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.